Hi guys, this is Sakha Kamid. Welcome back to my channel. Now, we're not in the studio today. I'm just outside testing out the uh, DJI Action 3. It is quite a sunny but dull day, if that makes sense. But yeah, we're going to test this out. I'm going to uh, talk you through the different uh, features we get on this. So, let's just see how we get on and uh, fingers crossed I don't drop the uh, Action 3. <laughs> but yeah, let's get stuck in, guys. Okay, guys, so the first thing I've noticed, it's very light with the... Uh, extension rod they give it's very light which is very good because uh, it stops uh, your wrist from restraining and so it is a good thing and also we get these different um, modes so we have the standard here we also have the wide and we also have the ultra wide now uh, i actually like the ultra wide but let's just compare side by side the standard and the ultra wide look at the difference i've got the whole uh, reservoir in the ultra wide i believe you get the best resolution from the ultra wide i mean the thing that gets me the most it's actually quite interesting when the uh, dji action 3 was uh, released it was only a matter of uh, one hour later where GoPro 11 was a release so there must have been some kind of competition going on where GoPro must have said you know let's just hold on to these guys let's see what they've got to offer and then we'll release ours so that kind of gets me a lot and good news guys so we have a professional mode where you can do the D-Cine like so it does uh, good color grading so if you're color grader like me then this one's for you we're also expecting a 10 bit uh 10 bit soon coming with the firmware from dji stay tuned to this channel because i will be doing more tests when the 10 bit releases so stay tuned for that so in terms of stabilization you can see i've tested it. i'm running here with the stabilization off and on the other hand i've actually uh, switched it on with the horizon balance now there is a rock steady but i'll test that out in a, another video but you can see uh, let's compare them both side by side you can see how stable the uh, horizon balance is you know look you can tell there's a massive difference so the horizon balance is a winner in this case and what i love about this uh, is the the fact that you can actually um, record in horizontal as well as vertical so what that basically means is so if you're a tiktoker or maybe you like posting reels on uh, youtube and whatnot you can actually uh, rotate this in uh, landscape as well as a uh, portrait mode so that's actually quite good because uh, you know we didn't get this previously in the action too so that is definitely a thumbs up from me not that i post uh, reels very often but i believe it is very useful so that's a thumbs up from me and also guys this uh, uh, action camera is good for photography as well all these images they're straight out of the camera no edit whatsoever so it's good for taking snaps now hyperlapse is amazing on this you know you can see on the uh, screen caption the different uh, timings frame rates we get uh, but one thing i've noticed so obviously when you uh, do a time lapse you can uh, power off the screen to say battery and whilst it's doing the time lapse you can see in this scene i've actually opened up the dj memo app so i can actually see uh, how much timing is left on the time lapse whilst the uh, screen is off on the uh, action 3 which is uh, good because you're saving battery as well at the same time but at the same time you can see what's going on so that's actually quite a, a clever thing to do you know uh, it's good for all you time lapse out there that love time lapse it's very useful uh, to just see what's going on in your memo app whilst you're doing the time lapse so that's just a an extra tip for you guys thank me later okay guys so the one thing that i've noticed with these uh, action cameras especially with this uh, action th uh, three is the colors are very rich uh, you know uh, many times i've been in this uh, same park the same pool and i'm uh, i've actually filmed here with my uh, dji pocket too and i've noticed the colors are more richer with the action three now it's understandably why but let me explain why okay guys the reason why the uh, colors are more richer more vivid is if we look close it might look like a normal action camera but let's pause a minute now if you look close we have two inbuilt microphones uh now where it says action 
where the O is right in the center of the O there's a color temperature sensor so what that basically does is it, it actually uh, it actually uh, detects color changes and light flicker so it actually detects what environment you're in and it gives you the best white balance so that is actually clever remember guys you heard it here and whilst I'm on the subject of uh, the audio you can connect your DJI mic with the uh, Action 3 to be honest the uh, audio is already good from the Action 3 but I'm gonna do a, a different video test with the sound so stay tuned for that guys you don't want to miss that and also I've noticed that the DJ Mimo app it connects very fast with the uh, Action 3 all you gotta do is just open up the Mimo app on your phone uh, switch your Bluetooth on once you click um, click the Bluetooth your Osmo Action should show up so once it shows up just click connect so basically we're all ready connected so whatever the DJI Action 3 sees we now see that on the phone I'm actually quite impressed how fast it connects it does it very fast probably the fastest I've seen and I can't forget the slow motion you can see the different frame rates on the screen with the slow motion and uh, when you by default uh, when you take this out of the package you by default both screens the back and front switch on you gotta go into the settings to uh, uh, you know just make one uh, switch on then you have the quick switch so you can flip through the menu we also have this have this protective frame and the good thing is we can actually we now have the front screen and the back screen as a touch screen we also get this uh, battery power bank which charges through your phone now so we can use it as a power bank which is actually quite clever when you're on the run and uh, we also have the different recording rates you can see on the screen all these different frames so uh, at the bottom is the different frame rates on the top we have the different resolution so I tend to go by 16.9 because that's the best uh, resolution and where it says the RS that's where you can uh, change your stabilization so you got the rock steady and all of that the horizon balance so yeah guys so uh, I will be doing more videos with different tests so stay tuned for that guys so guys that was the uh, full review of the Action 3 so do I highly recommend this camera absolutely freaking lootly it is a beast guys uh, in terms of is it better than the GoPro 11 again I can't comment because I've not used the uh, GoPro 11 but based on other people's reviews the uh, GoPro 11 does have uh, its own benefits as well some people are saying both cameras are good some people are saying the 11 is better than the action 3 some people are saying the opposite so there's mixed reviews but um yeah guys so in the meantime if you do if you guys do have any uh, questions regarding the action 3 just pop them in the comment box below and as always i always always appreciate you watching my videos uh, i've also noticed uh, throughout this review i've been filming for like I'd say one, uh, over one hour and it's not given me any overheating issues whatsoever and that is actually brilliant because I know we did have uh, overheating issues in the action too but yeah that's actually a thumbs up from me so it's, it's actually gone good but anyway guys this is Akhla Kamid and I'm signing out so please give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching